video I will show you how to deploy WAR files as I suppose most of you did it before just by uh, copying uh, WAR files into the, 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 the main directory of your uh, Tomcat uh, container so I'll show you how to do it with with OpenShift. So first we will need such a WAR file. So let's go to Eclipse. You can choose your own application written as a dynamic web project or Maven or whatever you want and just export WAR file. I will create very fast uh, a new Maven project. I will And I will call it test and finish. Everything is okay. Oh, not everything. We need just to set the target runtime. So let's go here, choose the target runtimes, and choose Tomcat. Okay. Now we are prepared. So let's create a WAR file from this application. So export. War file uh, and I will call this war file root and just let us sorry, let us use the old uh, old uh, directory okay before we do it I will go to this directory and uh, this is our old Tomcat server directory, delete everything we don't need anymore and then I will just paste our root file here inside of this directory. Let's go back here, root file and put it to the desktop to my servlet test directory and finish. So as you can see now in my servlet test I have this root war file here so let's put it on github go to your command line and git add then git commit okay I'll just call it war commit and then push it Okay, now let's go to to GitHub to see if everything is okay. Just refresh it and you see here we have this root file and our readme. It's unimportant. The most important part is here the, the, the root war file. So I would like to use it on OpenShift, but we have one problem. I was not able to use war with the, the JBoss Tomcat. I will use something new. You see, I deleted my previous application. I will create a new project. Okay, call it war test. The name would be war test and description and create. Now I will not choose the JBoss Tomcat. I go to Java. And then I will call, I will just choose this wild fly, which is also um, a servlet container. You can just go to the description of search for wild fly container uh, in Google and you will see what is it. Just select it. You can use with this container also MySQL, PHP, my admin as I did before with uh, just uh, JBoss Tomcat. So the name will be, i call it wild fly. And then our repository, this is just the same repository we used before. Copy the address, go here and paste. And create. Okay, go to the overview. Okay, just wait. You see the link is there, <coughs> but we have no deployments. It 
takes all the time. A second. Okay, it started. So let's see what happens now. Of course, we will not compile anything because we have the war file. Don't uh, forget to include uh, the, uh, the the uh, additional libraries you need. Just include it into war file. Just copy to the uh, lib subdirectory. So you see. We have here the root file which was deployed. And just go there. We deploy it now to the Wildfly server container. Take a second. <clears throat> okay, almost everything is complete. Okay, go to overview. Okay, we will deploy this to the server. Okay, one pod. And as you can expect, it will take time to deploy this war file. But when I click here, okay, you see, one more time. It takes time. Of course, I can cut my video and don't show you this period of time when we are waiting for this application. But I would like you see it and then you don't think there are any problems. And you see, this is my application. This is my uh, JSP with Hello World. Okay, this is all about, about OpenShift. Of course, you can add here also MySQL and, uh, for example, use my, uh, my PHP, my admin. Uh, in, the, in the description of this video, you will see, you will see the, the links you can, you can use. Uh, one more thing, when you click on this pod, and you go to the terminal, just in the terminal, so you can see what we have there, you can maybe change something. Okay, thank you very much.